Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to the Lifetime Trainer Talks podcast. And today we are talking about this rage that's going on in this industry right now. It's virtual training, online coaching, and we have one of the best there is and, and a guy that you know I've been talking to for the last maybe year and a half to two years, and he's finally jumped on board. But we have Mr. Will Mahoney here. He's a 22-year vet, has worked in health and fitness and digital fitness at places like Equinox and 24-Hour Fitness and Exponential fitness uh, worked with Stanford University and I am ecstatic to have him you know with us here as our national program manager uh, for virtual training so welcome to the show will I appreciate that warm welcome and it has been about two years in the making for me to come on brand <laughs> yeah and so like like that adage I'll draft off the adage uh, all good things come to those who wait uh, that's great well you so know thanks for having me no problem man. and and you know, there's there's been a few people that have kind of changed and, and come on board. And I'd love for you to tell your story quickly about, you know, how did you find and why did you find Lifetime and why did you end up ultimately taking this position? I'd say it dates back to about 2013. I was working with Equinox at the time and Lifetime was opening a cutting ground here in the California market down in Southern California specifically. And up until that point, I really hadn't had much visibility around the brand. I think I just knew it was there, but I didn't know really much about it. And so I had a teammate at Equinox say that they were jumping ship from Equinox and going to this brand called Lifetime. So that's when I started to dig in. And there was something there initially. I couldn't give voice to it, what that was, but there was something that said, I want to continue to explore this. So then on a personal note, my wife decided to become a member not much longer after the club opened here in Laguna, which nice. is pretty close to where I am. And so that was about step one. And so I had my versions of, of experience in the club as a guest coming in and really just appreciating what had been put together for so many years prior, so many years being you know, what, what Brahm and, and the early team had put together and what, how it blossomed into the experience that it is now. And then from there, uh, continuing on the personal aspect, and my kids, I, I've got four kids, three of them all learned how to swim with Lifetime Swim. And my oldest, who's in college, my stepson, he's on his third summer now working with the Life Cafe. He's back there as a cook. So I was really the odd man out by not being part of the brand. <laughs> well, you had to have been there when I was there for a bit then. Because <laughs> I, I was at that so, Laguna Club. It's such a gorgeous club. Beautiful club. And I mean, it speaks so well to the to the entire portfolio of, of the the exemplary and, and high quality experience that I really wanted to be part of. And I wasn't that I wasn't experiencing that in my other relationships and partnerships that I had been working with companies, but I just knew that this was going to be the next step. So it was really about seven years in the making, two very focused in terms of, of looking to really sign on and, and partner with Lifetime and get with the team and help elevate the brand. And I, that started right after I left Equinox in 2019. There were some slips in there called COVID that delayed things a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then really looking to wait and see how I could play in the virtual way, which is really leading to how I'm showing up now with the brand national program manager for virtual training and really help putting this at the, t at the, the tip of the ship or the, the tip of the spear in terms of how we can go into markets with really a much lower barrier to entry mm -hmm. and really build that brand presence with, wow, like this, this health club company, if some, that's how some people could perceive lifetime, they also have a digital way to play that's interesting and not a lot of other brands are doing that and that's when i hear folks internally saying being the best it's really also how we're being different and i think that's a that goes in line with how to be the best yeah absolutely well you know the other beautiful part too is you're not able to move <laughs> so i mean california is a great place uh you know but but you know working from afar isn't something that the company usually allowed and you know i've been fortunate enough and i know you've been fortunate enough so you know it's just how the company has expanded its mindset uh around you know like you said wanting to get the best and and doing what we need to do to get the best so uh thanks again for jumping on in that story so you know obviously covid you know caused this a lot of people were doing virtual fitness we were doing virtual fitness but COVID really pushed it to a whole nother level. And, and I know you were working in that space prior. So, you know, what do you see in kind of the vision and, and what we're trying to do here? And, you know, how is this going to help the industry? And more specifically, how is it going to help the trainers in the future? So part of why I also signed on with Lifetime is because of this innovation in the virtual space, the digital space. 
the this innovation is twofold in terms of what I'd offer the listeners right now. How we're meeting more members where they are in their journey. Their journey could be everything from their health journey to where they are as a as a consumer to buying journey. So where we can meet more people in more aspects of that journey. So virtual and online can fill that gap. And then by way of how we're meeting more trainers where they are. So in terms of career development. So if we have an in-club trainer that feels like they'd like to develop another line of revenue, if they want to be able to serve their members and their clients in another way, if they want to be able to grow into more of a virtual capacity, because that's just intriguing to them, we have a new way to serve many people, no matter if they're working with us or a member with us. And I think that is such a different perspective on saying five years from now in club and any kind of health club business said this is how we operate and while there's many services there that's the only way we operate so now this amplifies how we can show up in the marketplace you know and and something you said in there i think is is key and i'd love to kind of massage and deep into that a bit a bit more is how we're working with the current so part of virtual training and online training you know so much of it is thought to be this on-demand pelotonish you know apple plus type of of stuff but then there's also the people that we're working with in person can get a better experience because you know ultimately with some of the tools that we have we could work with them every day uh and so would you mind explaining that aspect a little bit deeper so you know, with the one thing about the, the other brands that are out there playing in the virtual and online space, it's great. It's showing that there's the market wants it. It's showing that there's viability there. So great. And the way I know in terms of how I'm hearing your question is in terms of like, how are we doing it? How are we doing it at Lifetime and how we're doing it differently? The, the one I'll speak to is what I would call in the virtual space is our portfolio of services. Mm-hmm. So if a member says, I want to come in and I'd like to engage with Lifetime, virtually we have four major portfolio of services or ways that they can quote play they can come in virtually they can come in and join a team training so that means there's a journey that's curated by a virtual trainer and that's over a series of progressive modules of, of program design whether that's month by month week by week they choose the way that how these folks are coming in and progressing So that's a team training component. They can start there. They're not limited to that. That doesn't have to be the point of entry. So if I say I raise my hand and I'd like that, I'd also like to have some individualization. Great. We can also serve you by designing a custom training program separate or along with that team training experience. So now we have two ways to meet more people where they are. The third way is to say, well, I would like some actual individual attention in a live capacity. Great. We can do a one-to-one video session. So now we're serving them more ways. And then the fourth is how we can do one to many. Almost people would say this would be an online live class, Mm -hmm. group fitness class. So we can serve a group live as well. So these ways can integrate. These ways could be separate. These ways can kind of ebb and flow. Perhaps someone doesn't want to do one to one all the time. Maybe they want some accountability. And so there's this we can glide along and guide the members and the clients as their life evolves and their life changing, because it does. And so if, if we're dynamic and nimble, then we really deepen our connection with our clients. And, and that is really why the, the virtual piece is so strong. Well, and, and what's powerful, like there is what I was saying too, is, is pretty much if you're connected with a, a fitness professional, you're connected with them and they're designing what you can do every single day, whether you're working with them virtually, whether you're working them in person and virtually or with a group. And it's just no one's doing that. Uh, you know, none of those other ones are doing that. It's all on demand or it's it's uh, some type of virtual. So there's no individualization as as much as we have it. No, and it maybe maybe this is my experience of confirmation bias, and I'm only talking to people that are <laughs> agreeable. But I, I continue to talk to other folks, and they're like, "Wow, no one's really doing that in yeah. in the in the health club space, the fitness space, the the gym space. They're really not dynamic like that." And again, I think that goes back to how we're being the best in serving people in in every capacity of their healthy way of life. Is you know, with our that being our major premise. Yep. And, and with that too, yes, if, if I want to go in and have an experience in an edifice, in a gym, and I'm also having this whole other way to con- continue beyond what I do within four walls, 
in the virtual space. Wow, like I have a really dynamic experience. Yeah. And that even ser- that even serves the member as well by if they say I'm engaging one on one in club and I travel, I'm engaging one on one in club or with small group and I can't make it because of schedule. Great, we can meet you virtually as well. So all of a sudden, we have all these ways to be able to meet the demands that people experience in their lifestyle. It's funny because I think of all the years of training clients, and they have no out now. <laughs> they have no out. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, this is true. I, I think. It, I think in a way, really, what it is is we we listen. Yeah. We we listen to the the market. We listen to the member, and. While you know, we, you and I may joke and say, okay, we removed every roadblock that you would propose. <laughs> I would say we've listened and we want to continue our connection yeah. with you as the member. And yeah. here's how we can show up and, and continue to serve. Yeah. And, and I meant that in a, in a, in a playful way, but in, Hey, there's really, we're here for you. You know, we want to help you. So the, the other thing that is glaring here that we haven't talked about that I think is important is you don't have to be a in club member and spend, you know, the, the monthly dollars that it costs to come in our club. Cause it's a, a roadblock for some people based on, you know, us being, a, you know, probably a little bit higher end or high, we are in a little bit a higher end club. So would you mind talking about how does somebody who maybe doesn't live around a lifetime or somebody who doesn't want to spend the the money for lifetime but can still get access to this that's where the the beauty of our digital membership comes into play and in a very twenty thousand foot view description i always like to say imagine having a world-class gym literally right there on your smartphone Mm -hmm. and that's why the digital membership shows up in the market because on that Folks can come in and have that be their first point of entry if they want, based on the fact there's not an LT in their market, there's not a lifetime physically in their market, uh, or if just basically on where they are in their journey, they just want a lower barrier to entry in terms of being able to be to experience what lifetime has to offer. So in, in many ways, what this digital membership offers many not just as, not just a, a, a segment of the market, but many people is to come in and experience our quality and our education and our experiences and our commitment to them through our live stream classes, through our on demand classes, our meditation app that's built into the digital experience, and then our partnership with Apple Fitness, which they curate classes as well. And then we have our experience life and we have our podcasts as well, all streamed into that experience. So really, it is a it is a gym in a phone, yeah. but it's not just a gym. It is a lifetime at its best in a phone. You know, what's what's amazing, too, is back when I first started in 2000, you know, there was a triangle that was kind of what represented what we do and how we do it. And that triangle was basically education, exercise and nutrition. And it, it it just encompasses that, you know, and, and we've evolved it, know it, nourish it, move it and different things as, as we move forward. But it, it's just the power of the vision and the grand vision that Brahm has always had to be able to get this out to as many people and truly help people. And, you know, you, you were hesitant. It was funny a little while back. You were hesitant in calling it a health club and you kind of said it, that's what people want to call us or something like that. And it's because we don't see ourselves that way. And, you know, we see ourselves as this healthy way of life destination that's here for health and fitness with great content with the best people, the best places and the best uh, programs. So it's, it's phenomenal to see this come out and, and you bringing it to life on a digital, you know, platform. So, you know, let's dive into, you know, a little bit more specifics around, you know, for the trainers, because obviously there's skills to be a virtual or online coach that are a bit different than, you know, being an in-person coach. And obviously we're looking for both. Um, so would you mind diving into, you know, what have you found over the years and, and through, you know, what you've done with Lifetime is what are the differences, the biggest differences between the successful online virtual person versus in-person? The the folks that I've experienced that have had a high level of success, and that can be by way of how they're serving their clients and how they're that therefore then goes back to helping the company grow. So I think it's about how they're individually improving how they work with clients, how they're growing as a professional, and then how that ripples up to the company as well. So I think there's this trifecta there. The success really is about knowing who they're serving 
and and that being clients, connecting with them, and then being able to show them a roadmap. So I think those are those are the the foundational pieces of working with folks in person, working with clients in person. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, that doesn't change online. Like that ethos still is there. What's different is there now is this migration from in club where maybe they have that support that's uh, similar and different virtually. Now they have lifetime to support them outside of the club. They don't they don't have to be there physically to do that. So if they still want that, great. If they want to partner and have that support with lifetime, they can do that also virtually. And the ethos still stays the same. They're still serving people. They're still connecting with them. And I think that with having that be, there's really, there's the differences are in just that if you want to expand your business and you want to grow, Lifetime's there to allow that and be there with you. And so in some experiences, I've seen folks working in club when they want to grow, if there was no option there, their plan was, well, then I'll just move on. And now that doesn't need to be the case. So Lifetime's there to grow with you in your career and virtual is one way that they can do that. Well, and you know, we've seen it too, where people jump into management and, you know, because that's the next thing to, you know, potentially make more money and it, then it, then they fail and then we lose them and they, and they, their bread and butter at that particular time was more training people. So what I'm hearing you say too, is that people can expand their income if that's the goal, if that's what they want, not have to necessarily work more hours because back in the day in order to make more money as a trainer you had to work more hours <laughs> and and so here there's there's obviously hours learning learning the technology and in putting your program into the technology and you know automating it a bit and in and, and doing that but after that they could make really limitless amounts of money with much less work and and really have a better balance because again burnout is a big thing with with trainers right i think that this day and age if you're working in club, uh, I would invite you to consider how technology can help you can help you scale what you're doing in club, if, mm -hmm. if that's your focus. And then if you're going to go virtual, then technology is a must. And why I highlight technology here is really it's an amplifier. Mm -hmm. It's an amplifier to how you can serve your clients, how you can scale your time, and then how you can grow your career. So you're going to get time back as you go ahead and scale with technology, whether it's in club and or virtual. So that's huge because now you're able to get time back and invest that back into your business, invest that back into how you show up as a professional. And then the income growth is also rides that coattail because now with the technology helping you scale and helping you automate and helping you systematize and operationalize your business, you're not having to reinvent the wheel. So you've taken time, you've been able to get it back, you've been able to scale your income, that overall enhances service quality. You continue to repeat that, that expands how you show up as a professional, that expands how your clients experience you. It's a ripple effect for everybody. Got it. And, and the other thing too, I think it's important is, is to note that, you know, one kind of feeds the other and the other one feeds the other, meaning the, if you have a big online presence that's you know doing maybe your your one to many or your team those people at some point in time become one on one clients because they might want more help so now the the dreaded lead generation and the dreaded sales that all the trainers you know usually don't care for it's more organic because they're already working you already have a relationship and they just need you know some more help and then likewise instead of just losing a client altogether they can maybe drop down into you know, the more beneficial, you know, way of them to be able to do it on their own without now you losing them completely. Yeah, my version of that is that we, all of our needs change throughout our experience of life. Mm -hmm. And why not have a tool or a resource or a way to continue the connection to address those changes in needs. And when you only have when even if you have a dynamic service or product, if it, if it can't grow with your customer, your clients, I almost feel like that we're not really truly serving. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a way for us to really hone in on how we meet people where they are. Got it. So would you, anything else there just, you know, with regards to differences between an in-person virtual and, and just, you know, making that transition? Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of people that are still hesitant in it, uh, although it's, it's much less due to COVID. Mm -hmm. One thing I would say, I can draw maybe a, a lighthearted, 
comparison is where e-commerce was maybe about 15, 20 years ago. So you walk into a sporting goods store to get your basketball and your equipment. And there was that touch and feel that yeah. definitely is unique to that experience. That's great. And then to find out all of a sudden, like a couple of years from now, that stuff's getting dropped off at your front door and you didn't even leave your house. <laughs> so all of a sudden there was this migration to like, oh, well, why are you going in person to get anything? Why don't you just have it shipped to you? Sure. So in a way, that experience for all of us of how e-commerce has grown, I think that has been there for online virtual training for a while. And I think one of the the wonderful things that came from the experience of COVID for us is this expediting of that experience for how we can meet people in their health journey. Mm -hmm. So now what happened with e-commerce, I believe is what's happening with how the fitness service and the health industry has, has said, okay, well, guess what? We just got an amplifier because of this experience that the world went through last year. And so this is where it's gonna to continue to grow and so I think if you're in the industry, whether you're in club or virtual, this is where it's going. And so you can in integrate it and have it be part of you. It doesn't need to it doesn't need to take anything away from how you show up. Mm -hmm. It's going to enhance how you show up. Love that. Love that. Well, you know, what about benefits? Because obviously there is a there is a good portion of people that are doing online coaching now and, and virtual coaching on their own. But obviously we're looking for more of them to come on board with us. So you know, what would you say are the biggest benefits of wanting and, and help and coming on board with us versus doing it on your own? I would draw from one of the re most of the reasons why I wanted to, to join Lifetime. And, and there, there's this for me for and for me to project this out to the listeners. If you feel that you want something, be part of something that's bigger than yourself. And you want to, in a sense, raise the water a few inches so all ships float higher, then that is a strong reason to pick up the phone and give us a call because that's where we're going. And the more folks that can come in and lift that situation so that it amplifies to more people throughout their life experience, that would be point number one. And point number two, if you have been wanting to grow a, a virtual business and you're not feeling like it's all coming together, then we're also here with our team ready to support that. There's not many companies that will say, great, we'll hire you in, so we'll compensate you to help you grow your business. So really, if you had that entrepreneurial mindset and thought, okay, great, I'm gonna start it and you're on your own, that doesn't need to be your reality. You can come in, work with Lifetime, and we can support that growth with you. So twofold, if you wanna be part of something bigger than yourself and you want really to, to make that impact is what people I hear people say, that'd be point one. Point two, you wanna actually put the pen to paper and you wanna make it happen, give us a call. I love, and you know, some things to add I think that are important too is, you know, was one, the resources. So not only if you're if you tried going online and you struggled with it, we educate people. Like we have a very, you know, robust educational process to help you get up and running with people that are helping you do that. So I think, you know, that's a whole nother aspect of, or if you, you never wanted to do it, here's the way, here's a place that you could come on board and you can learn that. Secondly, I, I think the other resources like supplementation, uh, like a product sale. So there, you have all of these resources at your disposal that you can now additionally make some revenue by helping your people. So our, you know, relationship with Hypervolt, our relationship with our supplements and all of those things I think can all come in and you went from just coaching to now you have an expanded product, you know, offering that you can help your people with as well. So I think those are a couple other things I think are, are pretty important from what I've seen, you know, and how things work as well. Yeah. It, it's, it's, if, if anyone has had the dreams of, of playing big and showing up in, in how they are as professional, now you can just go ahead and, and align with lifetime to get that support. You've got a billion dollar brand behind you. Yep. 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 Well, you know, and before we move into a couple last questions, is there anything, you know, that, that sparked your mind through the podcast or, you know, just anything that you want to add with regards to just the how we do it, you know, you know, why we do it and, and kind of what we do? I'd say in terms of the, the how we do it, it, we covered a little bit how we're meeting people where they are and, and all the different ways that we have our services packaged and, and to be able to meet people their journey. So that reiterating that. I think that's a big differentiator. And that doesn't mean just in club, but it also means in person. And on two, why we're doing it, 
again, because this is where we can become more dynamic. Um, we can grow with where the market's going. This isn't just a trend. The digital is not something that's going away. It's, it's actually becoming more and more integrated in how we do anything during our day. And then three, you know, why people would want to come in is if you can see that there's a bigger vision here and, and that's something that you really wanted to grow with, now you don't have to do this on your own. You don't have to be out there by yourself and saying, how do I figure this out? How do I put these pieces together to have an online business? How do I put these pieces together to be able to, in a sense, play in the Amazon jungle versus my backyard? The Ink Club business is a version of playing in your backyard. There's, you know where the walls are. Yeah. You know who the folks are that you're speaking to, the members. You go out and you play in the global marketplace. You're in the Amazon jungle. So we are able to help you clear that path. So then that way, you know who you're talking to by way of clients and they know how to find you and you can just grow from there. Yeah. And in the marketing as well, that, that we'll help with as well. So, you know, I think the, the last two questions that I think, you know, people might be asking if we made it this far through the podcast and, and I appreciate it if you have is, you know, what can a virtual trainer expect to make? And I know that this is a, a tough question to answer specifically, but, you know, rough estimates based on hours and, and clients and things like that, if you can give any information so that they know, you know, kind of just before they even potentially learn, which my next question is, how do you apply? Coming in. So right now, in terms of the application process for individuals that want to get with Lifetime and, and become part of that, that bigger vision that I've given voice to many times is there it's a what we would call a part time coming in and then there's the growth beyond that so initially coming in you're looking at about an eight to ten hour commitment by our development of you and your business and, and then the growth and real quickly that. too sorry it, and that's if they want to come on as just a virtual so you're not going to be in club you're just part time you're in your house or wherever you do your work and you're going to utilize our resources and learn all about it and be able to apply that that is 100% virtual. Yep. And, and a lot of our folks that have come on that are now working virtual have also seen the the opportunity to do in club. So they're doing both as well. Got it. And so that's, again, creating that nimble way that we're showing up to our, our members and in the marketplace. And then by way of, of how it looks on compensation, it's we have so many ways for our members to be able to meet us and us to meet them. We've got our, as I mentioned, our team training and the revenue that comes from that. Your one-to-one -one video sessions and the revenue with that. Your one-to-many video sessions, revenue there. And then you have your custom program. So you've got four lines of revenue that you can come in and, and meet your potential clients and your clients where they are. Then there's also the lifetime supplements that people can purchase. There's revenue from that. There's the equipment that people will need at some point within their training experience virtually. There's revenue from that. And then so, so the trainers revenue. can make commissions on equipment that they're selling with to the people that are in home as well. Didn't know that. That's awesome. Yep. All the lifetime, all the lifetime uh, equipment bundles, they can make revenue from that. Uh, and then also from all the new members that come onto the digital membership, they're making revenue from that. So the reason why I, I highlight those is that those all pour in together. And if you were to break that into, let's say, five productive hours, like we'll call it productive hours. I mean, like revenue is pulling into about like what would look like five hours a week, five to ten. You're looking at an income of about two thousand dollars right there for a very little time investment. So if you, you pull that back and think, well, what would in club one to one look like? It wouldn't even be close to that yeah, no. and it's not to denude or devalue in club because that is still there and it oh and i think it always will be and there's value in terms of how so people still show up one-to-one -one. but there's this new way of being able to to generate income to meet more people where they are for a for a, a very highly leveraged way in how business shows up that's a huge number you know for people to make an addition to whatever it is that they might be making wherever else that they may be working so that's fantastic. Or, or maybe it's just a mom that, you know, or somebody who wants to work part time, you know, with the kids. Uh, last question is if there's a trainer that is in a state where lifetime is not at, is that something still they can come on board as a virtual or where are we at with that? Yes. So the, the logistics of that is if they're, they're not really drivable, drivable, if that's a word near an LT, then yeah. they would just be partnered up with that closest club by way of the personal training management staff would be able to be their go to. Okay. And, and then anything they drive by revenue would go to that club. So no, they that that's not a limitation, they would just be connected to their closest club. 
and that can be in any state. Right now, uh, we're we're honing in on on certain states to be able to really have this experience be what we know it is and continue to expand that. So no one's limited by where they live. I mean, that would be a bit contradictory if yeah, we were talking yeah. virtual services. Yeah. Well, and, and what's something that we didn't emphasize that I think we need to emphasize before we leave is the fact of, you know, just. Oh. Well, and one last thing I want to, you know, ask you is, you know, obviously when trainers come on virtually, uh, there's, you know, things, whether it's Zoom or they're losing something else or, you know, uh, online programming tools. I know that we, we use Trainerize, you know, what is the cost that they have to pay, if anything, you know, to use that stuff? That would be what I would uh, term startup costs. Uh, <laughs> there, there are none. <laughs> uh, in, in, in your startups out there for all, all the listeners out there that are saying, I'm really interested in, in coming on with lifetime in this way and in, in all the ways that we can, uh, offer you is that there, we're, we're compensating you. We're investing in you to develop your business, which is the opposite if you're on your own. And so power to you, if you're going to do it, but there's no startup costs if you come on with us. So all the software, all, all of the equipment, all of those supplements, all those things that you would say, these are the things how I want to show up. From my clients, you don't need to cover that. We've got that. We've got you covered in that in that regard. So th that's a that's a nil on that to be succinct. Wow. So so what you're saying then is lifetime covers all the cost, and they're going to pay for you to learn how to actually do this. <laughs> yeah, this isn't an infomercial. I promise. <laughs> I don't mean it. Just okay. <laughs> so that's awesome. Well, anything else you want to leave us with, man? This has been great. And you know, again, actually, the, the last thing is just application. Um, and you know, I'll put some links in the, the show notes so that they can go directly and find out more about it. But, you know, you can reach out to me, you can reach out to Will, I'll put their information in there, uh, as well, but any other things that you want to add before we leave? I appreciate connecting with you on it. And, and for all the listeners out there, this is from my perspective to project my opinion, this is where we're all going. So if you're, if you're in the ship, whether it's health and fitness or, or any type of other commerce, Vir virtual online services, we continue to grow that way. And I know by partnering with Lifetime, coming on, working with the team, we're spearheading it and we're going quick and we're going strong. So then that way we can give people the best experiences. So if that right there resonates with you as how you show up as a professional, I want to be part of the best experiences and add to that, then Lifetime is your destination for, for all things virtual training and, and more beautiful man well thank you so much and i uh, can't wait to see you in person soon one of these days and uh again we're grateful to have you on board and uh great job with everything you're doing so far thanks brother i appreciate it and see i can hear you say there's still that value in person so there is yeah there, there is i appreciate that yep <laughs> for sure <laughs> take care brother